Hello, it's Nathaniel again. Today we're going to take a look at an absolutely pristine 1985 Lord Nelson 35. There were only 33 or 35 of these built and this one has had one owner. This is the original owner. Heavily built, full displacement cruising boat. It spent part of its life in Florida, most of it here in California, and she is immaculate. This is really a pleasure to make a video of this boat and have it as a listing. Let's go take a look. All right, let's start up here. As you can see, this is a cutter rigged vessel. See the Windex up top there. Two sail bags, no roller furlings on this boat. Don't need them, boat's not too big. And these sails are pretty easily handled. I don't know if you can tell from here, but all of the running rigging is brand new. These sail bags, brand new, beautiful shape. And well done. Made by a company up in Washington, actually. Look at this bow sprit. Freshly varnished, all the stainless is polished. It's in great shape. We've got twin CQRs up here. Should be versatile enough to anchor you in any conditions, 35 pounds each. The hull is just in great shape too. Rub rail teak has been painted black. The owner of this boat's a master woods woodworker, and you'll be able to see that soon. I don't know if you can quite see under there. Nice big rudder coming off that full keel. Swim step off the canoe stern. New mainsail cover as well. And look at this teak. Gosh, there's sort of a lot of teak on this boat, isn't there? Not such a big deal though. Uh, the owner has recently refinished all of the teak on this vessel. So all the bungs are new, or, or bungs, screw caps. He regrooved the teak and refilled them with new. What is that? Ah. Yeah, poly. Black polyurethane, right? Take a look at these teak decks. Nice big hatch over the head, in fact. So this vessel, as we'll see as we go below, has a Pullman and then the head forward in the V-berth. Just take a look at this woodwork. Everything shines because it's just been done. Polished stainless durads. Original wooden block, completely refurbished. <laughs> oh, it's just a beauty. Oh. 
the sails. Look at this brand new canvas. But the thing is, these sails have always been covered. They're in good shape. Classic. Hank ons, Hank off. Easy to handle. Simple to maintain. It's a beaut. Look at this. You can use heat shrink on these. Lifelines are in great shape. See this? Look at this carrot, the friction points. Mast, recently painted. Just shines. Check out the cockpit. The boat's a little wet. We had some rain last night. Nice big variants. Self tailing, two speed winches. Three jib sheets. This was a high-end brand similar to a Hans Christian, in fact made in the same yard as Hans Christian. Everything on this boat is just so clean, recently refurbished aluminum propane canister. Back here, emergency tiller, Back here, battery charger, uh, the sail bag is the spinnaker, basically unused, great condition as well. What else do you got down there? Looks like an 8D. Oh, so these are the two batteries, uh, replaced in one of 22. Both of them. And look at this binnacle. Nice, sturdy binnacle. Shifter, throttle, opening. Fantastic condition. Wheel. Great, great helm position back here. Can you feel it? Yeah, I'll zoom out a little bit. Great visibility. No bimini on this boat, but there are a couple attachments points that you could use if you wanted to add one. station these are original but were sent back to Europe to Stowe to be rebuilt and they're in functional condition and we're great right now 
just a lot of fun one. Here's your traveler. Wood block. Grass sheaves. Ships. All right. Going below decks is a pleasure on this vessel. On your starboard side as you go down, get your engine start controls, RPMs, warning lights, floor light. And on the left, UVHF. And then here we go down. Starboard side. Galley. This galley is pristine. Look at this double sink. Polished, clean, perfect. Look at the woodwork. Here's the refrigerator. It's Adler Barber. There's the freezer compartment. Large, large refrigeration area. Battery control. LPG shut off. Everything on this boat is just so clean, so well laid out, so perfectly maintained. It really has been kept in crystal fashion. Mariner by Dixon, two burner. Propane range. Yeah. Drawers for storage. Here's your access to the undersink compartment. More storage. More storage below as well. More access. This sink, as well as your rubbish bin. Let's go on the starboard side to your quarter berth. Size to be a double berth, plenty of room. We do have this closing accordion door as well. Perfect finish quality and fit. Hanging locker. Tons of storage. All lined. Just like the visible portions of the vessel. Quite amazing. What's back here? Access to your through hulls. Properly bonded. Steering gear. All right. Moving forward from the quarter berth, let's take a look at the salon. Number one, look at all the beautiful wood on here. This doesn't just look good in the video. 
this wood is in fantastic condition. On the starboard side. Foul weather gear hanging locker. Storage. One of those boxes is actually the, um, to convert the forward head from manual to electric. You can install that if you like. Below this starboard bench, there's storage behind, as well as below. Tons of storage on this vessel. It was made to cruise long distances. Everything fiddled. This is a sailboat. Check out the electrical panel. This is a work of art. Everything in its place and in pristine condition. Here, at the port, Pullman berth, plenty of storage beneath, six drawers. On the starboard side, an absolutely Immense hanging locker. Then we move forward to the head. Nice port light for natural light. Hidden vanity drawers. One ten outlet. More storage belief. Absolutely spotless. Large, nearly full length mirror on the port side. And then up here we go to the head shower. There is a curtain. Keep your vanity dry. Custom teak grate. The toilet. Manual flush like I mentioned. Shower head. Everywhere grab rail on this vessel. Everywhere grab rail with a solid teak interior. More storage. There's your chain locker. Chain in good condition. Terminated with line. It's a beauty. Everything is clean, tidy. Perfectly finished. No scratches. This boat is just magnificent.
beneath the cabin sole, these are two water tanks. Easily accessed from the top, the owner recently drained both tanks and completely descaled them. Uh, they are uh, very, very clean. You can see he added a couple new hose, hoses and fittings on there as well when he did that. The bilge. Clean, painted white. back. Look at the spacious bilge. Nicely painted. This is where, if you wanted to, you could install a rather large holding tank, as there's currently no holding tank on this vessel. for transducer. Below the quarter berth is the fuel tank, easily accessed with clean out port on top. Let's take a look at the motor. First off, before we get down to the motor, Check this out. I do believe the owner is going to be bringing these tools, which fit right in there, back prior to sale. T care on the stairway is just in fantastic shape. And there's your motor. also see in the back there the water heater and the compressor for the refrigerator. Here she is, Yanmar 3HM 35F. Has very few hours on it. The owner says approximately two tanks of fuel. She's more of a sailor than a motorer. And, um, but there's no hour gauge on this vessel. New mixing elbow, stainless steel. Water inlet. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video about this 1985 Lord Nelson 35 foot cutter rigged, heavily built, full displacement cruiser. She's in great shape. All the right things have been done and none of the wrong things have been done. This is the original owner. He has maintained her immaculately and it really shows. This boat is truly one of a kind. Feels as if she's just rolled off the factory line. And great boat. Whoever gets this one is a lucky person. She's listed with me. Give me a call, 619-313-3664. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. And have a great day. Thanks again. Bye-bye.